Parliament has approved the government's $109 billion spending plans for the coming financial year. Following 73 hours of debate, during which 66 MPs spoke, Leader of the House Indrani Raja says this is the highest level of participation in the last five years, despite the reduced number of MPs able to attend Parliament due to COVID-19. And it highlights the, quote, robust debate that comes with this level of participation. The value of robust debate is that it helps to crystallise the issues and it lets, ones, it lets people see where MPs and parties stand. The Workers' Party has a different philosophical approach. Uh, they have preferred not to raise GST, but to, I don't think there's any dispute that there is a genuine and real need, though, to fund healthcare going forward and that there is a need for increased revenue. To achieve additional revenue of $3.5 billion a year, the net effect of their various proposals is to Ta tax large companies more, tax the rich, or use more of the reserves. From our perspective, it's too early to adjust corporate taxes. It's, it will depend on the evolving rules of BEPS 2.0. And even if we're able to collect more in corporate taxes from the revenue for BEPS 2.0, we will have to use these revenues for additional measures to enhance our overall competitiveness and ensure that we can continue to attract our fair share of investments. On taxing the rich, there are ramifications on whether we'll drive away talent and wealth, and that will be bad for Singaporeans. In reality, wealth is mobile. Higher taxes on a small group of people at the top, who are extremely low mobile, will eventually lead to higher taxes for upper middle income or even middle income groups. Using more of the reserves means leaving less behind for the next generation and imposing higher taxes on them.